there are a lot of talks about Ukraine and the European Union and this bilateral agricultural trade exchange. The European Union, it's only only 500 uh, million consumers with, with, who have more than enough domestically produced goods. But if you look at China, at India, at uh, Iran, at North Africa, there are much more people there who do not have domestically produced goods and they want uh, to consume. Grain is not only for bread, grain is also for feed, for, for, for cattle, for poultry. Uh, and uh, in my book, I think I made it clear that Ukraine has also to, to make diversification. So, of course, it's very good to export to the European Union, but it should not be the goal. The goal of Ukraine should be to export as much as possible to all countries all over the world. And Ukraine is doing well, I think, because if you look at the statistics, actually, it's not the European Union which is on the first place uh, within the, Ukra the Ukrainian importers. If you look, for instance, at Ukrainian wheat, um, almost 30% of Ukrainian wheat is exported uh, to Egypt. If you look at barley, at most 40% uh, is exported to Saudi Arabia. Uh, if you look at uh, maize, at corn, okay, Spain consumes a lot, but also South Korea and China. And uh, so my vision, Ukraine has to expand the Asian markets, first of all, and China would be also great, but Chinese market is unfortunately quite, um, um, so it's not open. Uh, Ukraine was lucky enough to get some access to Chinese market and it's, it, it, Ukraine is exporting cereals to China but uh, Chinese market um, has also um, uh, so quotas for export importation and unfortunately Ukraine cannot get uh, enough quotas for this.